Whenever I see black people in a kilt, it always, um, <laughs> it's a little shocking, actually. <laughs> to see my brothers, you know. <laughs> Well, this is the beginning of the rest of your life, you miserable retards. <laughs> and um, I shouldn't have read through your homework this, this afternoon. It kind of kind of took a glow off me that I had. Um, but I would um, Google dangling participles, split infinitive, and in syntax. The, um, some of the guys that you're going to be trying to attract, attract for your dream team are real uh, uh, finicky. If you have a misspelled word, next. And, um, or if you uh, write poorly, they don't answer your email. I, I get away with half words, etc. But as Chris Whipple would say, you're not me. And um, with the um, giant fonts, etc. <clears throat> but I mean, put your, remember, first impression, first thing they see is your uh, response to them. Um, first, actually, thing they see is the request vis-a-vis um, LinkedIn. And then, so it's, you're putting your best foot forward every single time. And it's really important. I can't. I can't emphasize it enough. And then again, it's uh, how you look the first time you meet them, and, and how you talk, whether it's in person or via, via Skype or um, or Zoom or uh, on the phone. And for some of you, uh, not this group, but <clears throat> other groups, you know, um, I talk to them and they never email me back. Why do you think that is? Because you talk to them, but that's why they didn't email you back, <clears throat> or they, you know, and uh, because you, you, you trick them up until they heard you, you, you flap your mouth, and um, but even with that, you'll get past that, and you'll you, you, you move forward. Um, I'm excited for you. This is not just because it's my 25th anniversary, 23rd of uh, May. Uh, not just because this is the 550th year for the old girl in Guthrie Castle, um, but Guthrie Castle has seen a lot of guys in kilts over the years. And um, I mean, I can't imagine, especially because the Guthrie family was uh, in the limelight of Scottish history for a long, long time. The, um, so you, you, you're walking, let's see how do they put it, on the shoulders of giants. So to you, congratulations, uh, and I want you to go out and fucking rip their head off and shit down their neck. Here, here. Here, here. Here, here. here. Now, we're going to have a group picture, and when, you, uh, when we sit down for dinner, um, the, uh, you can stack your certificates and your bottles uh, on the uh, main table. For those of you that have rooms close, fine, you can go back and put them in the room. Uh, but um, and there's no uh, guidance that you wait until you do your first deal um, to open a bottle. Um, most don't open it while they're here uh, <laughs> before dinner. <laughs> the, um, and that's uh, it's a challenge, sir. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, uh, take it for what I don't give a fuck. You can open it. I don't care. But, but uh, the um, um, it's. Um, We've done this for a lot of years now. This is almost 25 years. And I'm, I'm sad because 25 years, we've already created a trillion dollars. Because you alone can go and create a trillion dollars. That's what makes me sad. It makes me cry. Because you leave so much on the table. And the reason I keep driving myself is because of all the money I've left on the table. And if I've left money on the table, what the fuck have you left? You've got the tools, tool actually, 
And as I told you where it starts and where it begins <laughs> with that tool, you only need one tool to make this fucking thing work. That's it. And uh, I mean, you've got to drive yourself. You've got to dislocate yourself from all the other creature comforts. It's a shitty thing to say, but you've got to dislocate yourself from all the creature comforts of your family, of your kids, of your parents. But since your parents fucked you up, that should be easy for you. And I'm not suggesting you go home and you ask your parents, did you really fuck me up? But some of you do. And I only wish I was in the fucking room when it happened. Because the universal parent goes, and big fucking alligator tears roll down their cheeks. And they say, oh, we did the best we knew how. I didn't know any better. Well, that dog just doesn't fucking hunt. Because look what they left in the wake. And when I say you should have rolled down the inside of a thigh, I'm dead serious. But now you know why you are the way you are. You've always kind of thought it. You weren't actually, you weren't positive about it, but now you fucking know. So now that you know, you can go and do something about it. So your quantum leap and go rip them and shit down their neck. Here, here. Yeah. Yeah. to a quarter of a century of Kilo Lake. They've been inviting us in your home for the last 25 years. Every schmuck and person that did deserve your help. Very solemn. You said, <laughs> you said the Catholic priest was your penance, but I feel like this is your penance right here. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I got a sore back. When I was stretching, putting on my guilt, I'm like, you guys, look, Except for you, you right? I'm like, you guys, you just slip on the fucking socks and you go through the motions, right? Well, I'm not in Gerard's case, but I mean, I, I got to stretch to put my socks on. You know, and, and Sally has to help me get the coat on. But thank you. Never take it easy on us. Okay, no, oh, believe me, that's it. You don't have to say yeah. that. Be careful what yeah. you wish for. <laughs> 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 I don't want to enjoy you say, I'm a Spania. Um, one of the things you said to us the other day. Wait a minute, the life of your head, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stand over here because the, the, the life won't be. Okay, I mean, you can see it. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, one of the things you said to us the other day, Mr. Pena, is you regret in some way not saying thank you either at all or enough to the people that really helped you on Correct. your journey. And so I want to not make that same mistake. And uh, this week, sir, has been absolutely mind blowing. Um, like uh, Josh, Joshua said, sorry, I'm learning your name, but um, you brought us into your home. Uh, we all know that you don't need to do this. Yeah. Right? You don't need to do <laughs> this. Um, and, uh, you know, you called it a penance. I think uh, one of the things you, you said in some of your videos I've watched was that what you think about most isn't what you become. Um, but interestingly enough, uh, what you did think about a lot, what you mentioned in your younger years. Because I thought about um, a vagina. Yeah. Well, has, 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 I wanted to be a bicycle seat of an Olympic, a woman's Olympic, Olympian bicycle seat. <laughs> Tour de France. Yeah. 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 Interestingly enough, so, uh, because He's you didn't think about He's trying to clean it up, but I'm going to tell you what it says. <laughs> interesting enough, because you didn't think about it so much, you have caused yourself to be surrounded by cunts all the time. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, look, uh, this has been amazing, sir. Uh, Sally, I, I know that you've done a lot of stuff behind the scenes as well, and thank you again so much for having us here um, and sharing your home with us. Um, I know that you know this is a beautiful place, and I'm sure it's a different place where we're not all here as well, uh, when you can relax. It's also an understatement. Thank you to the staff. <laughs> thank you to you guys who've done the filming. Thank you to uh, Kim and, and anyone else behind the scenes that have put this together. It really means everything. Um, and I hope this is just the beginning of something amazing. So thank you. It will be. You're on the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. Cheers. 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 This Indian Catholic would like to say something. Uh, <laughs> okay. All right. You want me to jump? <laughs> okay. It's uh, very important. Yeah. Out of words, actually. <laughs> so I'm trying to be honest. It's really. Um, Believe me, sir, from the bottom of my heart, I feel you are doing God's work. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you. I, I, I don't think I can be more honest than this. But it's been really amazing. Thank you. Cheers to you. Cheers. 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 And um, the, uh, as the sisters say, I'm on the fucking rocket ship to heaven. <laughs> Amen. And, and if uh, Saint Teresa, who I'm not going to slag off on YouTube, uh, got to be a, a, a saint, uh, and you don't get a, to be a saint unless you're in heaven, uh, the um, I, I, I'll, I'll say hello to the old the old gal when I'm there. But thank you very much. The um, I don't look at it as God's work, but I do look at it as um, as a fulfillment of my own selfish desires to be the best there ever was. And so when you fulfill your desires of being the best, whatever you want, and being all you can be, I mean, the sky's the limit. I mean, Josh, uh, I was going to say kind of rest his soul into it. I mean, Josh, the team, well, he's not a teenager anymore, he turned 20, but Josh is a, an example of what can be done. From Josh on the one end uh, to uh, Klaus Kleinfeld, who was the CEO of the, um, the largest deal there ever was. Um, I mean, it's amazing, and all, all the permutations in between. It's utterly amazing, and, uh, and it's what keeps me going. And, and when your successes uh, come across my, my desk through the uh, weekly reports, I mean, uh, while wow, I, I may not blow smoke up your ass, I'm, I'm proud of you, because that's not my style of leadership. You know, I, I may hit you in the head with a cricket bat uh, for your successes, because I know what you're really capable of. And, and the one the, the one great um, um, thing that I've learned after coaching almost 25 years is that um, on, on, on the one hand, never be you can never underestimate how wrong you can be, but you can never underestimate how successful you guys can be. The one that is, you know, the little mouse that can't do anything, the mouse that roars. And remember, Warren Buffett, Elon Musk, Zuckerberg, to name just a few, are introverts. They're not alpha males. You don't have to be an alpha male, like Steel Bomber, myself, or, or President Trump. Um, you fall into that category. And uh, so don't ever let, for one microsecond, you think that you can't uh, achieve his greatness. To you all, thank you. Cheers. 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 Okay, now this is the kid. Make sure you get a picture of him. That if you look, if you when you achieve even marginal, as much as if you look good, I mean you're going to be a multi-billionaire. Go ahead. Well, you're saying you're the the Dan Vader, or you you picture as the Dan Vader. But when I see the movie, I remember uh, to Obi Wan said that you are only hope. <laughs> Obi Wan. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. I, you guys are a good group. Um, the um, but good is the enemy of great. Yeah. 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 Here, here. Okay, and so even though you you know you, you got through it, you know that's fine. But now the real job starts tomorrow. And um, as you heard um, Dr. Joe and his infamous wisdom, he said when you go back to your your, your shitty house is how he describes it. Um, and I know some of you don't live in shitty houses, but compared to this. You all live in shitty houses, <laughs> and uh, but that's one of the reasons that we continue to maintain the seminar here and only here now, since the turn of the century, uh, 2000, because uh, the metaphor is classic. Yesterday dreamed uh, tomorrow's reality, and this was my dream, and, and here I am, and I've been here uh, almost uh, since uh, August of '84, so it's, uh, it's, it's uh, well over 30 years, and but I mean dream big. And fail fast. I know those are the cheap cliches, and everybody says it. To fail fast, pull the trigger. Nothing you're going to do is going to kill anybody. Uh, uh, nothing you're going to do, and none of your ideas that I've heard, these would be your 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 dream. It's going to kill anybody. Uh, if, if anything, you're going to help a lot of people that are motivated to sell because they may have no exit. And even though I poke fun at it, and I, you know, I, I twist it a lot of different ways, but the, the truth of the matter is you are helping these people. You're helping these people out of a business that they've had 20, 30, 40 years, and nobody in the right mind would buy it. There's no succession planning, and you're their succession planning. 
So in a lot of ways, you're the kid that they never had that's going to take the baton and uh, take it to the next level. Uh, and you learn those things, and you're going to get a lot of templates. You all have the thumb, right? Yes, sir. Uh, yes. Has, I'm, afraid, I'm afraid to ask, but has anybody misplaced it yet? No. No. Oh. You wouldn't have balls enough to tell me about it. <laughs> uh, and uh, you have a book? Yes, right. yes sir. Yes. And uh, the reason why it looks like a Bible is because I'm telling you what the goddamn Lord knows in that fucking thing. I mean, uh, and, and in addition to that, on my website, I've updated the book with uh, various um, stories that uh, Kat and I went through painfully, uh, those chapters. Now, I'm not going to update the book again anytime soon in my lifetime. So that's it. Uh, uh, but uh, I'm glad I did it with Kat nudging me month after month to do another chapter. Uh, but uh, that, 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 that thing that you can put on your, uh, on your phone or whatever, and you can listen to it. But the people that are the most successful are the people that inundate themselves with information. And I know, I, I know wives and, and, and kids that are tired of hearing my voice. And uh, I told you a couple of instances where uh, Uber drivers or taxi drivers, are you uh, Dan Kenyon? Because you're giving that a man and they're listening to it. Uh, and contrary to what you might have thought, uh, leprechaun, myth, le leprechaun myth, as many people as we put out here, about 100 a year, there's no competition. 100 a year in a, in a planet of 7.5 billion people is nothing. You won't believe that uh, when, when, when you put the bankers on their back foot, they may have heard of some guy, they may have met a mentee in 2006, 1997 for the older guys, but um, nobody reads them. That's because the world's a big place. The world's a very, very big place, and there's tons of money. Again, congratulations, guys. Thank you. Thank you.